Hi guys, uh, it's really early in the morning, but I finally got my Super Junior Devil album, and oh, I was going to wait till later this afternoon to unbox it, but then I realized I just really cannot wait. I already bought the album on iTunes, so I already kind of know um, what songs are there, but yeah, this is the physical release, and I bought it from K-pop. Um, Market 01 on eBay, so he gave me some extra cards. So here is Shiwon, Unya, Doe, Itik. There we go. Yesong, Kangin, Kihyun, Hichar, and Dioke and the um, devil group from the MV. Oh gosh, I'm so excited. Oh, okay, so here's the front. It's just a classic SM packaging. Um, I don't mind. I like it. I wish they would have done something more for their 10th anniversary. And this is not the 8th album. It's just a special album. So, um, yeah. Hopefully they'll do an 8th album when the members come back or something. Then there are they, and yep, it's just special album, and Devil SM, I really wish they wouldn't even put SM on here, because basically Super Junior did the whole thing. Um, the track list, you actually have 10 tracks, yep, and special album again. And Devil is held in by foam, which is fine. I'm not going to take it out because I'm probably not going to use the CD since I already have the songs. Um, well, no, I think I have to download the special message and stuff. And there we go. That um, The colorful cover of Devil. <laughs> ah! um, the track was again, and we have Shoe On. The light's pretty bad, huh? Probably should go like this. And Tongye, oh, I really love this picture. It's just really um, simple, and some people say it could be like really cheap because of the budget, but I don't. I mean, as long as they look nice, it doesn't really matter. Kihyun, oh, I really like this picture. Shuan, not the suit though. Lyrics for um, Devil, and let's see, Hicho. Hiding from the light because he is really a devil. And yet, let's see. Really like that. Yes, yeah, song with that top hat. Ugh. Um, Devil, the song itself, I would give it a 10. It's a really good song. It's really different than anything they've ever done. And it really, the lyrics are actually kind of interesting. It really showcased the relationship, I guess. Um, that Super Junior has with their fans or even with each other and the general public. It's just, it's a really weird song that you may not like if you're really used to just like the Super Junior, like, you know, regular funky, like Sorry Sorry or Baramana. You, you might not like it, but I do. It's just something really new and the vocals are beyond amazing. And uh, lyrics for Simply Beautiful. And Dolly's beautiful picture. Ah! Um, Simply Beautiful is actually, like, a very weird song because the com composition, I feel like it jumps around a lot. And, um, some members didn't really get the time to shine, especially, um, oh, who was it? I can't remember, but, um, there was one member that I, I thought should have gotten more lines because the song, like, his voice would have fit the song better, but, um, he didn't. So, Ita Hicho. Oh, really like that picture. Yo, yes, song. Ah! Um, lyrics for Pyori Tenda. Um, stars appear. Really like this song, 10 out of 10. Ka, uh, Hyun. Almost said Kang Yin for a second. Oh, here. <laughs> Kang Yin, uh, oh no. Hyun, then Kang Yin. His picture almost looks the same. <laughs> The background is different. Um, yep, Kang Bear. I'm gonna, I think I'll zoom out a little. Inya, 
and the picture for Good Love. This song is probably my least favorite song from this album. I still like it, but um, I mean, it's just my least favorite. Ah, sorry that. Okay. Ito, Kicho, they're always like on a page together. Kang Bear, Inyo. Lyrics for We Can, a KRY song. It is extremely, extremely beautiful, and one cannot even begin to explain how beautiful it is. Um, Rogue. He actually looks really good in like black and white shoots. Shuan Doe. Oh, gosh, it's so funny. Um,. Yeah, song. I love this picture. I love this picture. Ah, and has this little thing. Okay, um, a D and E song. Don't wake me up. I really like it. It's it's basically Growing Pains 2.0, and it's really good. Uh, Unya Hicho, that hair. Uh, yeah, song. Eat it. I wish I would have had like a third concept. Um, a Super Junior T song, Love at First Sight. Uh, 첫눈에 반했습니다. Um, it's really cute and fun, and I honestly think it's a it's a classic, you know, Super Junior T song. Even though I feel like it could have been a regular Super Junior song, but it really helps showcase the members that are in it, their vocal ability, their rap, so, um, very solid song. Kang In, ah, so cute. Kang In didn't get a lot of part though, which, um, that part I was kind of sad about. Uh, Ryo, Dong -e. lyrics for Forever With You, and SJM song. Honestly, I didn't really like this song as much. The vocal, again, was great, um, but still, I didn't really like like it all that much and rock and shine a very strange song for super junior and in, in a good way and it's just like an upbeat happy like like it's just a really good song so there's nothing bad i can say about it i really like the song and let's see it took and all right don't it, um composed and wrote the song with team one sound and it is really good it's marked it's just you know like um one of those songs that you're just like this is like you can remember them by it's just a it's just it's like i don't even know how to explain it it's like island in mamacita like someday in um you know sexy green single it's it's that kind of song and Unyak wrote the rap part, which included um, basically all the members' names. Well, all the active member from last year. Yeah, so 10 out of 10, really good song. Kyuhyun, he always has that same pose. Um, Ryuk, Shiwon, Kang In, Dong -e. And um, Dong -e's thanks to. I kind of want to see what it says. I can't even see it very well. <laughs> Oh, I can't see it from the camera. Yeah, I'll read it later. And, uh, Diogs thinks too. Hmm, he wrote a lot. Kang Bear, very short. What did he say? Really like this picture. Shuan, very long post. Have probably like a Bible verse or something. Uh, Hichai, wonder what he wrote. Uh, Shibonyan, Ishimyan, Dajunye, Member, Yanteya, Izen. <laughs> oh, he chilled it over the funny one. Okay. That picture is really nice though. Q Bear. Thanks to. Yeah. You probably couldn't even read that. Um, he just said something to his members. Yes, yeah, song. 
and it says forever young on me really like this picture as well it looks exactly like one of the pictures previously but it's fine <laughs> oh. Ita. he probably wrote some deep stuff because he always writes pretty deep no matter what, we can't really be torn apart because, like, we're destiny. We're destined to be the, together, basically. Um, thanks to Shinyan Chonuro that she told her to so. Ah, I'll read it again. Really like this picture, and that is it. No credits, page, or anything. Oh, no, there is. Yep. There's that credit. Sorry, the light is just really bright because it's morning time. Um, Devil. Ah, uh, my god. Really love this album. Um, like I said, some songs were okay. Like, they're my least favorite song in there, but overall, it was a really good song. It's just not to my style, basically. And, um, which was completely fine because an album is not supposed to have like every song that you like and this song um this album especially because of the diversity of the song because what super junior does is to try to tell a love story basically through this album that's why it has so many different songs and it try to incorporate their groups like their subgroups so that's why it's overall a, a very diverse album it's not all that cohesive in the in the genre point if you want to look at it that way but it's actually like I feel like if you're an elf and truly truly an elf you can really understand this album and you know no matter if you like the song or dislike the song but you can really understand how like their mindset was when they kind of put this album together it's very inspirational it's really like even though, like, it's been 10 years, we're still running, we can do this, you know, we're gonna keep going. And I think that's a good message to send to anybody, like, anybody. So I'm really proud that they did this album and they were, you know, they took the initiative to just make this album instead of waiting for SM, which probably will never, like, do anything because, you know, they're SM. But, um,. Yeah, I really like this album, and um, I will listen to it again, of course. And I'll probably listen to it from the CD also. But, oh, right. I took the photo card out at the beginning just because I could not find it for the life of me in the first video. So here's that. And um, this is the back. <laughs> um, yeah, this is Shiwan's card. And I don't know what it says. Yep, she won Choi. I actually really like this card. Um, it's one of his better cards, I guess, since forever. And yeah, I think it's the background. It's really pretty. So yeah, this card's not up for trade because I plan on getting all of the devil cards just because it's their 10th anniversary. And um, in, in general, I think I like everybody's cards. So yeah. And I really like the back also. I really like the red and black. So, yep. So, there is that for Super Junior. And, um, I got extra albums just because I can support them in terms of sales on the, on charts. Because they don't really do well, um, uh, digital, digitally. And because since SM announced the album release so late they didn't really do that well physically on pre-orders either even though they did like well like way above other groups it's you know it's it's low for a super junior who sells like mostly almost like half of their like total album sales in the first week of pre-orders so um yeah, I ordered a couple. I think I will order more um, when I buy another K-pop album. Because I usually buy extra albums along with newer albums that other groups come out with. Like, every time I buy another group's album, I always, like, put, like, a Super Junior album in there. But since my collection of Super Juniors pretty much finished, except for the new 
well, now it's basically finished, but I'm just waiting for extra copies, um, and also for the photo cards, of course. But, yeah. And that is it for this unboxing, and I um, really hope that you guys enjoyed it, and if you can just watch the Devil MV, that would be great, because it's actually pretty funny, and it does have some sort of a storyline, and the song is really good, it, well, it's, you know, it's also strange for a super junior if you're not used to it, but overall it's just really good, and it's their 10th anniversary, and... Ah, uh, my gosh. I'm gonna cry if I talk. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, so that's it for this unboxing. Bye-bye.